Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is Hospital 340B Drug Program Explanation. Now many of you have heard of the 340B program and some of you might even be very familiar with it, but I think it's important because everybody who works in healthcare needs to understand what the 340B program is and how it's significant, if it's significant at all. Now, the Department of Health and Human Services requires that drug manufacturers give a discount on certain medications to safety net hospitals, to safety net providers. In other words, sometimes they're referred to as disproportionate, sales, uh, disproportionate share hospitals because they take care of a lot of Medicaid and uninsured people. They take care of a lot of poor people. So the government says, okay, well, if you're going to participate in the Medicaid program, then you need to discount you need to, you the manufacturers need to discount your drugs when you sell them to these hospitals that take care of poor people. Okay, now it is a 13% discount on generics and it is a 23% discount on brand name medications. Now, the this whole 340B program was created by the Veterans Healthcare Act in 1992. Okay, so it's not super old, it's not super new, it's kind of in between. Now. One of the issues is, is that it has grown dramatically. So there's about 1,300 hospitals that participate in this. And just a few years ago, it was like half that number. So it's like hospitals have been sort of positioning themselves as these safety net hospitals in order to qualify for this 340B program. Now let's see how the hospitals use that 340B program. So they get about $30 billion of discounted drugs a year from these manufacturers. In other words, they buy about $30 billion worth of drugs at a 13% discount for the generics and a 23% discount for the brands. Now, pharma, of course, is getting blamed for all these high drug prices, but pharma comes back and they do a pharma-sponsored study that found that the hospitals that in turn mark up those drugs that they get at a discount approximately 2x when they um, they looked at 20 drugs and they found that those drugs were actually marked up 20x in terms of the actual amount that is paid to them by the insurance companies. Okay, so in other words, they get the drug for five bucks. The insurance company pays pays them ten dollars for it. They pocket the difference, right? So in other words, there's 60 billion dollars that are being spent on drugs. 60 billion dollars spent on the 30 billion dollars worth of drugs through the 340B program. And that needs to be put in the context of overall spending on hospitals. So in the United States, we spend $1.23 trillion a year on hospitals, of which $60 billion is on meds that have come through the 340B program. Okay, well if you, let's just say there was, you know, some sort of, and, and obviously, you know, there are different groups that are saying, well, we need to crack down on this, and the hospitals are exploiting this, and it's basically a huge profit margin for them, and it's wasteful, and it increased the cost of health care, so we need to put a stop to it. So let's just say, theoretically, that the Congress put into law uh, saying that, hey, the 340B drugs have to be sold at cost. They can't make any margin off it. So in other words, instead of being $60 billion in cost, it'd have to just be $30 billion, right? Because the, all the margin would be taken away. Okay, so that would, in essence, decrease hospital spending in America by $30 billion. Well, if you divide $30 billion by $1.23 trillion, that's 2.45%. So overall health care costs uh, for hospitals would decrease by 2.45% by if hospitals were not able to mark up the 340B drugs. Now let's put that in the context of the CARES Act from the coronavirus pandemic, where the Department of Health and Human Services just gave hospitals in America $178 billion. Okay, so that's, that's like six times what they were making in profit off the 340B program. And so one of the important points here is not, okay, well, is it okay for the hospitals to make that much money off the 340B program? Is it not okay for the hospitals to make that much money off the 340B program? The, po the point is, is that as we go through further healthcare reform actions, let's look and see what is just decreasing costs over here just so that they can be raised over here, right? Because it's really just a game of whack-a-mole, right? Are we just gonna like lower healthcare costs in the 340B program just to give even larger checks to hospitals in various other acts like the CARES Act? So on the whole, we need to be highly vigilant when we look at quote-unquote wasteful programs that need to be quote-unquote decreased in order to quote-unquote lower healthcare costs because we need to look at the overall picture. And I think this 340B program is a good example 
of just that. And thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.